schedule for 2023. I'm uploading on Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So exciting. I just wanted to do something that was just refreshed. You know, I've had the same schedule for a very long time. I've been on YouTube for 13 years. If you are new, welcome. My name is Nicole Johnson. I am a style and beauty creator. And you know, in full transparency, I gave it so much of my efforts and energy last year with YouTube. I mean, 150% just really grinding out videos and really making quality content and really just pouring so much of myself into my, my work. And then when I take a tiny break, like I worked ahead and then I took off, I think a week or two of just having to film, I was still working, but I just wasn't filming. I feel like I go, I fall into like a little bit of a funk where I'm just very self-critical and it's very hard for me to get back in front of the camera. And you know, it's hard just always editing and seeing your face. And I think that as you age, it's even harder because you see things that you haven't seen before or wow, do I look so tired? Or then you start like that snowballing effect of just negativity and you're not supporting yourself and it just gets worse and worse and then you get depressed and it just takes on a life of its own. So I've had a little bit of a hard time jumping back into YouTube for 2023. And um, also, you know, I think that a lot of people get it. I, I've I mentioned this before on my channel, but I think a lot of people like get it mixed up about my gray hair and the fact that they thought that I really wanted to go gray or I was like, yes, you know, I'm like this silver warrior or silver fox or I wanted to defy all this. I didn't want to do that at all. <laughs> so sometimes I look in the mirror and I've been very honest with you about this. I've been, I've talked about this for so many years where sometimes I am like, wait a second. Like what is happening? Like, who is that? I don't recognize who this is or, oh my gosh, could, you know, like, should I cut my hair shorter or should I let it grow longer? I mean, you know, all of these things, um, I think about, and sometimes I never think about dying it though. That's not an option for me. I just feel like it's always a constant growth. It never stops. It's not like, oh, I went gray and, and now I'm like on this, you know, great journey of just, you know, loving it every day. No, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't. And I, I just think you should really know that because it's a self journey every single day, you know, every single month, or, you know, you might be coasting for a little bit and then you hit some rough spots and you're like, Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Or what could I do? And so, you know, I just want you to, if you feel that you've put in the efforts to go gray and you're not happy or, you know, you're like, wait, what's going on? Or I don't recognize myself or, you know, I just hope that you can connect with me on that level and know that it gets better. You know, you have to process and allow those feelings and being uncomfortable so you can actually get to the next level instead of being like freaking out going, oh my gosh, I'm just going to diet. Oh my gosh, I'm going to go and do this. I'm going to do that. Don't do anything hasty. Just sit with it and be uncomfortable and really enjoy that. If you can if that even makes sense to you can how can you enjoy being uncomfortable nicole well you can because that's where the growth starts you can't just keep changing stuff all the time you know we can change lipsticks we can change makeup yes we can do that but when it comes to things that you know will take a while to get back like if you do dye your hair or if you go and do a procedure or you do certain things you really need to sit and be uncomfortable in order to know if that's what you really want, because these kind of feelings do pass and they do change. And I have had so much growth from that, from just being like, okay, you know what? I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to sit through this. I'm going to try to rethink the thoughts, what, what I'm thinking when I look at myself in the mirror. So just bringing to light, some, some, you know, real thoughts and real feelings that I have that it, I just need you to understand that it's not easy for me all the time. I'm just like you. I do struggle with whether it's makeup, my skin. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Why is my hair so white? Oh my gosh. I feel like, you know, all these things. And then I have to just say, wait, okay, like, hold on a second. Like, let me just focus and catch myself doing this and then be able to move on. So when it comes to beauty trends, you know, I was thinking like, I just, I just don't get behind a lot of trends because I think that they're silly or I think that they're just so outrageous or I think they're just not realistic, especially for aging women. But I came across some that I wanted to share with you. So let's get into the first one. 
The first one is a side part. Now, the funny thing is, is that there was like some big controversy with like Gen X, which is my generation and millennials or younger, like in Gen Z that side parts were like not allowed. They were just, <laughs> they were like so dated and so awful, what have you. And I always wear a side part. My hair naturally goes into the side part. I love a side part. I think you can do so many things with a side part. It can look very classy. You can slick it down. You can wear it natural. You can pull it back in a bun and have this nice side part. And I did a TikTok, uh, I think it might've been a year ago on, on this topic. And it was basically like challenging the, the younger generations of, you know, I'm going to wear a side part. So I, 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 did they they like to have a center part right i look ridiculous with a center part so i did this whole like little skit where it was like not bringing it down and looking ridiculous but doing the side part so this is a really great trend that is coming back for 2023 is that we can we can the older generation that's always loved side parts we can really rock it and feel like we are basically on trend for 2023 my second tip that i'm very excited about is polished nails so this is a big trend for 2023 and there the, the nail industry has really developed over the last couple of years they have their te technology is just amazing but i am one to just do a diy manicure last february so it's almost been a year i took off the dip i stopped doing everything i just did not enjoy any part of that experience and i was like you know what i just want really i just don't think it's healthy i just want to have healthy nails let me see what happens when i take them off and I have really been loving having just natural nails. I can change them any day I want. I, you know, always have them polished. This is a really cool combination that I've done with this color. It, I know that Milky is really like popular, but I always love something that's like a little pinky, but not too pink, but not too nude. So what I did was, is that I love Dazzle Dry because it dries in five minutes and it's rock hard. So I don't have to worry. That was a big issue when I came off of dip and gel. It was like, oh no, like I, I'm so impatient. Like I can't have something that I'm waiting and I'm like, wait, you know? So I got Dazzle Dry, which is amazing. Totally life-changing. If you do your own manicures by yourself, your little DIY. So I do Dazzle Dry with fine china that's the color and then i do chanel's ballerina but what really has made my nails grow and look beautiful polished is i randomly got the dazzle dry ridge filler and it is it's just like completely amazing it is totally transformed my nails so my nails now are really growing they're getting nice and long which was hard because i type a lot and they were staying short especially in my right hand but now they're growing they look so beautiful i'm really thrilled and i'm very excited to see that 2023 is all about polished manicures the third exciting 2023 beauty trend is statement lip now a statement lip is very important for me because i have silver hair gray hair i am very fair and i lose my face like i, I have to add color ever since i went gray it's all about the color so you know that if you watch my videos and i have like a nude lip on or a nude pinky which i do love but it just washes me out so i love corals i love berries i love red and those are really kind of like the three kind of categories that i go around in but it makes a big difference right now i'm wearing chanel's coco it's a beautiful coral color and then i put defiance over it so i have like a nice little coral over it kind of lightens it up a little bit i did use cameo as my lip liner but i just wanted to not have the i did i did i could use poppy if i wanted to but i just used cameo which is for my line and this is really beautiful because it's very french too because the french love to be very effortless but they have that statement red lip or you can have a lip stain which is really nice too so be prepared to see in 2023 a lot of statement lips the next beauty trend for 2023 that I love is more blush. So they're talking about adding blush to the skin. You know, I've done a lot of videos on liquid blushes, cream blushes that really look beautiful for mature skin. So I love the fact that blush is back for 2023 because again, I need to add color to my face because I get washed out. And that is one of the things that I love putting on 
on my Fierce Aging series with all of my ladies that I do over 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, the second I add blush to their face, it just pops. It's just like that statement lip. Adding color is so magnificent, ladies. So I, I've showed you forever my Palm Beach. This is my cream blush here. I've showed you all different types that you can use. You can use a stick if you want to. You can use, you know, just having like, if you want something more like a wine color and you want to add it to the lips. Now, granted, I have coral on my lips. I could have done coral on my cheeks, but just so you can see, adding this color is going to be really beautiful because you're going to add that life, add that health, add that youth to your face just like that. So if you are on the fence about adding blush, grab yourself a cream blush, grab yourself a liquid blush, re refer back to my videos on how to apply it, how to look really natural so it's not overpowering and you're going to love it. And my last beauty trend for 2023 is skincare as makeup. So it's all about taking care of your skin, all about your skin looking like you're wearing makeup. I love this trend because you know, I think less is more, especially when you're aging, but everyone can take care of their skin. No matter if you have left your skin and you're 75 and you say it's too late, it's not too late, ladies. I want you to really focus in on, okay, I don't use anything. I haven't used anything. I'm overwhelmed. Get yourself a great cleanser. Once you've mastered your cleanser and it works for your skin, get yourself an exfoliant. That can be a granular exfoliant, but not too granular that's going to really abrade the skin. It's going to be gentle. Or get yourself a lactic acid treatment. You know I love Good Jeans from Sunday Riley. That's a wonderful, wonderful product that you can wear, you can use overnight. You will see a dramatic difference with your skin texture. I will link everything below. But you you can just start slow. But when you really treat your skin well, you're hydrating yourself, you're exfoliating you're wearing your sunscreen, yes, again, it's never too late. Start taking care of your skin because you're gonna see yourself wearing less and less makeup, as in foundation, concealer, correctors, and that's the whole point. The whole point is to see your skin, to feel beautiful, to feel radiant, to have that plump skin. It's totally possible. We're gonna be doing a lot of videos that are going to help you kind of get off like that, that landing pad. We're gonna just give you a little push to get into skincare, to make it reasonable, to make it affordable, and to make it something that you really want to do. I know a lot of ladies don't want to do it. You grab that little makeup remover wipe and you think that's doing the job. And please, if you do one thing in 2023, throw away those makeup wipes. They are so detrimental to your skin. So I hope one of these little trends you might want to bring into your style from your side part, polished nails, beautiful color on the lips and on the cheeks. You're gonna feel great. These are simple little things that you can add in. And that, it's not even about being on trend. These are such great, like, like everyday things that we should be doing anyway. I'm just thrilled that they're really pushing it. It's on trend, we're gonna be seeing more of it. So ladies, until my next video, I'll see you later.